I picked this very, very slow blues in C because there's a 12 bar break that he plays with the rhythm section that's just incredible. And I'm going to play it for you and we'll break it down into some sections so you can learn it and, 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 and play along with me. You're going to hear on the track at the end of the 12 bars where I play the, the, the melody, the head, I went. That's really the beginning of the solo. So you'll need to go back and listen to that, but I'm going to play that for you here. It's very easy. It's just it's just double stops. It's just it's just a very uh, almost a pentatonic kind of phrase, you know. And I'm starting out playing G at the twelfth fret on the third string, and B flat on the second string, eleventh fret. So I'm going. Then I'm playing C on the fourth string, tenth fret. So the solo actually starts with those double stops at the end of the melody. So I'm going to play G and B flat on the third string and second string, 12th fret, 13th fret, uh, excuse me, 12th fret, 11th fret. Then C on the fourth string, 10th fret. Now this C is going to alternate between these double stops. Just like that. So I'm playing, I'm playing F and A, E flat and G. I'm going. So that's really where the solo is going to start. It's going to start at the very end of the melody, the head melody. And then there's going to be a big rest. And then I'm going to play, which is. It's a pentatonic phrase, and I'm going right to that F9 at the 7th and 8th fret, and I'm just covering, I'm just covering it from the 4th string to the 1st string. I'm not playing, I'm not putting that F in there, so I'm going, then I'm going to riff for a little second. Now the next phrase I'm going to play is going to go across the top three strings and I'm going to start on the G string at the 8th fret. I'll play that again. I'm going to do it a little slower. time a little slower okay now I'm going to come up and basically play an F7 arpeggio right here at the 13th fret Now, here's the last bit. I'm going to come back down to the 8th fret. I'll play that again. time. 
I'm gonna play it two more times. Does anything look familiar in there to you? See the way my hands are? I'm playing triads. Those are all triads that are coming from arpeggios. They're chord tones. That's why we did the lesson on arpeggios earlier. That's why it's important to know that stuff. I'll play the phrases. I'm going to play the phrase again and watch my fingers. This bit right here, that's basically an A7 flat 9 arpeggio. Again, that's the importance of knowing your arpeggios along with your scale tones because so much of the content of jazz blues is made up of arpeggios, chord tones with scale tones, triads, things like that. So that's the solo. That's the 12 bars. It may not seem, it might seem a little weird, but it starts out Then I'm going to finish it off with my own thing at the very end. But that's the, that's, that's the crux of it. That's the solo. And now you should have a clearer picture of why, I, like I said, and I know, I'm going, I, know I'm, I know I'm repeating myself, but now you have a clearer picture of why we do arpeggios, why we look at things like that. Because all of these things are combined to help give us a jazzier sound. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the solo as I just taught you here. But realize that on the other video, the other track, like I said, the solo actually begins with... The so we're going to figure that that's already happened. Now I'm going to pick up the solo on this 12 bars. So let's do it with the track.
So I hope you like that. I really love those 12 bars. There, there's something about it. It just, there, there's just a lot of information there, a lot of melody. It, 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 it's, it's so melodic, but it's so bluesy. You know, it's just so bluesy sounding, but it's got the jazz sound to it also. You know, you've got the harmony. <laughs> You know, all the chords changes being defined with the solo line. That is that you know that that that's right at the the heart of, of, of jazz playing. And it's the blues. So you can't beat it, you know. I would say, you know, like I've said before uh, about other artists that I, I admire so much and I want to try and uh, you know demonstrate what they do. Go back and reference this record because there really is some great all-around playing and, and Kenny's tone is wonderful and he swings tremendously when he plays and, and there's just a wealth of information that you can get, you know, from a 12-bar solo from the man, you know, and it's just all feel and it's very soulful and, and it's very vocal-like to my ear. And it's lyrical, and 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 it's just it's just great playing, in my opinion. So I hope you dug this lesson, and uh, you know, practice on, work on it, make sure that your time is really strong. And like I said, you don't want to get in front. You really gotta, you gotta be behind it when you're playing. You know, you gotta you gotta be right there with them, but you gotta think behind that beat. You know.